Okay, hello everyone out there in YouTube land. So I'm going to fix myself a little cheap lunch with a little bit of ramen noodles, yes. Which have about the nutritional value of, well I'd say the bag that it comes in. Um, but if you uh, a little short on funds or this is all you got around the house, I'll show you a quick way you can beef it up a little bit. So, got the water boiling. I actually use two and a half cups of water instead of the two that it recommends. So we'll dump that in there. And get that turned around a little bit there. And we're supposed to boil it for three minutes, but then we add the secret ingredient, which is two eggs. Careful so I don't get any eggshells in there. And this actually makes it taste pretty darn good. Oops, oh, that one's going to work out right. There we go. Got a little paint on my hand there. Did a little bit of painting earlier. Okay, start the timer. Three minutes. Let that boil just a little bit here. Wash the egg off my hand. Okay, I, I gotta tell you, I, I seen this on YouTube a while back and I tried it and I am hooked on this. I mean, obviously the nutritional value isn't gonna be fantastic, but at least if you put a couple eggs in there, it's going to be tons better than uh, than just, you know, top ramen, which is basically, again, uh, no nutrition at, at all, just a lot of salt. Uh, but this is actually pretty good. It's kind of an egg drop soup. Uh, well, I guess, you know, we, we drop in a couple eggs, but it's uh, it's a little different. Um, I don't know. It's, it's kind of hard to explain, but it's really good. And I suggest that you give it a try, but I would also, you know, suggest that it's not, the, you know, a big mainstay in your diet. Uh, look at it's, it's a little bit angry. It's boiling a little hotter than I would have liked. Yeah, pop. Put some toast in too. Have ourselves a cheap little basic little snack slash meal. Now, of course, I've got the packet of flavor, <laughs> chicken flavor. Uh, the you know flavor being used as you know loosely. It's basically just a bunch of salt and a bunch of other synthetic crap. But like I say, it's pretty tasty, and uh, especially if a guy's really poor, if you're a college student, this is not a bad way to go. Uh, again, I wouldn't make it a, a mainstay of your diet, but it's pretty good, and it's quick. There we go. Actually, it looks pretty good. I don't know how well you can see that there. We got some egg, and it's just pretty good. Why I didn't think of this before, I have no idea. This was not my idea, but I've seen it on YouTube, and uh, yeah, I was sold. Now, I'm going to wait and put the, the flavoring in towards the very end, so um, yeah, be just a couple, a couple more minutes. Okay, as soon as that alarm goes off, the three minutes has been up, and both the egg and the noodles will be nice and cooked, Then I'll turn the heat off and add the flavoring. Oh, there it goes. And then I like to add a lot of pepper. I, I just kind of pepper it to to taste anyways. Uh, certainly you would not want to add any more salt uh, unless you're crazy and you want to harden the veins and other fun stuff. Okay. Get that all stirred up. Yeah, it actually looks pretty darn good there. I don't know how well you can see that, but it's it's actually really good. It just, it just adds a lot of substance to an otherwise extremely crappy product. But um, yeah, I've, so I figure, you know, two eggs, a thing of top ramen, I and mean, this is like, I don't know, 40 cents, 50 cents, 60 cents, um, a little bit for electricity. Anyway, it's not a bad way to go. Okay, so I added some toast, an apple, a couple of these, you know, little cutie oranges. These are addictive, by the way. Uh, a banana and uh peppered it and uh if you're really crazy and a bachelor like me you could not even use anything else so you don't have to dirty up another pan you can just eat it right out of there uh, of course if you have gas that probably isn't kosher anyway uh i hope you enjoyed my little video and um anyway that's about it have a good one